What is up guys, thanks for coming back and watching another video today. Today we're going to be doing a DIY, how to make a magnetic number plate. Very, very simple, you just need a couple of things, a little bit of time, it really is simple. It will literally cost you like £10. £10, nice and clean, looks awesome also just a quick shout out if you're new to the channel please drop a like on this video also write a comment and most importantly subscribe i'm at 2,000 subscribers at the moment looking for obviously more squadrons squadrons <laughs> squadron leader basically yeah just subscribe to my channel if you're new but hopefully you enjoy the content that i'm going to be bringing out soon this is going to be a, a diy how to do it. Uh, we're gonna go to Joe's house right now. He's got the Toyota Chaser. We're gonna uh, take off the bumper. I think he's already done that, but we're just gonna show you how to do it. It's so simple. And the like, if you really want the clean look, if you have like a show car or anything like that, I don't have a show car. The 335 is not a show car, but obviously I really like the clean look without it on there. Uh, I'm not condoning driving without a number plate because obviously that's bad. So don't do that. But for certain like, like camera shots and things like that when you go to like a nice place and you want to take a photo shoot with your car for example it looks cool uh, just by taking it off it makes the front end look nice and sweet so yeah this is just going to be a DIY how to make one of these for under 10 quid I'll link all the bits in the description below so let's go to Joe's now and let's crack on with this DIY he said come here diss my YouTube channels you said in the group chat come round and diss me so I'm coming over, <laughs> I'm dissing you, and then you tell me off! Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, so what you're going to need is a couple of things obviously to do this install. Uh, the first thing that you're going to need most importantly are the magnets. So yeah, these magnets here, I'll leave a link in the description for these magnets right here. They're extremely powerful. Um, if you do um, basically break them, unlucky. <laughs> How'd you break the magnet? <laughs> he broke it! Why did you break it? Basically, because I pulled two of them apart and left them right there and they're so strong they just went like that together and shattered. Yeah, they? so yeah. if they if they come apart and then you leave, like you kind of like let them fly together, um, they can shatter. Joe's obviously done that. Secondly, you can obviously need the number plate to obviously put it on two. Uh, you're going to need to bond the magnets to the number plate itself. So uh, what I'm using here is serious stuff <laughs> it's so serious basically uh, i think i got it from like home base something like that any kind of like diy place um it's extremely serious stuff <laughs> right and then also we're gonna need um you don't need to do this but basically so you can actually protect the actual bumper itself is i use uh, black felt and i will actually glue that to the back of the number plate and that's just gonna go over the top of the magnets and sit as a barrier between the actual number plate, the magnets, and the paint on the bumper. Pretty stick, yeah, um, just in case. The serious <laughs> strong doesn't work. Uh, <laughs> These videos are getting shitter and shitter. <laughs> and then, finally, uh, you're gonna need uh, duct tape and the duct tape will be used for covering the back of the magnets on the inside of the bumper uh, because obviously that you don't want to get them rusting and stuff like that it's just gonna weather protect the inside of those magnets let's crack on with the install first of all guys the first thing you need to do is get your number plate and then you need to line up where you're gonna want it on on your bumper and then you need to glue the magnets to the number plate first this is the first step <laughs> this is our straight edge. Yeah. Okay, it was literally like there, I think. That's serious stuff, I reckon. Like, it held it in place so much. So, once you have an idea of where you actually want to position it, because obviously every bump is different, etc., um, we're just going to glue the magnets across the back of the number plate. We're going to wait for those to cure for a little bit. Uh, and then once they're done, then we'll move to the inside of the bumper. And at that point, we'll let the magnets go and they will automatically find each other and at that point just leave it all to set. Right at the end. Yeah I wouldn't do them at the end right. so I'd like have them spaced it's, here. It's bowed isn't it? Yeah. The bumper. So you want all the contact all right, points draw. sort of like there. Yeah. What all four? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs>
after you've glued these down, maybe leave them for about half an hour, depending on obviously what glue that you use, etc. Um, they're gonna have different like curing times. Once they're semi cured, get your felt, which you can get from any like arts and crafts store, just get it online or something like that. You wanna cut up um, enough just to obviously cover it. Um, and then what you're gonna do, use your good old print stick, print stick all around it, make sure that it's all clean, stick it down and then leave it for a bit. And then once that's cured, then you're gonna cut all the excess around the outside. Leave all that to dry. Um, and then we'll move on to the magnets on the actual bumper. So now that that's done and that's uh, been cut around the outside, that's that's ready to. <laughs> that's, that's been done. So now what you want to do is you want to clean the inside of the bumper right there. Clean the inside of that because at the end of the day, when the magnets go on it, you want it nice, nice and clean. Obviously, you don't want it dirty. Otherwise, it's not going to stick. Um, that's what we're going to do now. So what we're going to do is we're going to get another plate. We're going to hold it up where we want it on the outside, and then once we hold it in place, we'll glue the magnets, and they're going to stick to. Well. It will it'll will automatically align and then we'll just leave that overnight to bond fully. Just your eyes, you can see. <laughs> Okay, so as you can see, uh, just put a bit of glue on it, let them go and let them stick. So at this point, so at this point what they're going to do now is they're going to be bonding together on either side. They're going to cure overnight. So at this point you just want to leave it. Leave it covered, make sure that obviously it doesn't get wet or wherever you leave it. And then when it's cured tomorrow, that's when you're going to get the duct tape and you're going to mask uh, that bit right there and that's going to weatherproof it. And that is literally it, simple as that really. <laughs> 